Hi, I would like to show you how easy and quickly it is to create an ARM Cortex project using MPROG Thunderbench. The tool has three wizards to start an embedded project. The first and most recommended wizard is to select a ready-to-use BSP that closely fits your need. The second wizard allows you to create a target-specific downloadable project. The third wizard allows you to create bare metal C code for an ARM core. We'll talk about this more later in this video. Now let's get started. The first wizard is choosing a ready to use BSP. Let's say I need to create a Cortex M project. I go to the control center. I click on ready to use BSPs. Then select the chip maker I'm interested in. Here I need to select the BSP that best fits the board or the application I'm interested in. I choose the best fit BSP. Thunderbench will then automatically create a project with the complete application code for that specific device. I choose the JTAG probe that I intend to use. The application code will be built to include everything that's required to have a complete functioning application with setup and download ability. The idea is to start working with the Cortex project right away. As you can see, all the files are in the workspace. You can see a main.c file created. Click on it. Inside the file, you can see a user main function with all the code needed to get this application working out of the box. This is where you can start injecting your own custom code. It is worth noting here that in case you don't see a BSP that fits your need within the installation, you can check with Thundercloud, a cloud-based repository of new and additional BSPs. How to access Thundercloud? I go back to the control center. I click on the Thundercloud icon. That takes me to a larger repository of BSPs on the net constantly updated for MPROC Thunderbench users. Now let's see wizard number two. The second wizard allows you to create a simple target specific project with download configuration. I go back to the control center. To create a simple ready to download ARM shell project, I click on target specific project. I get a list of chip makers, devices and options of JTAG probes. I select a device. If I already know which JTAG probe I'm using, then I can select it in here. You can always set up your JTAG probe later on. Then click on Create Project. Thunderbench will automatically create a ready to download project for me. This project includes everything needed up to the user main for that specific target device. You can see here the usual main.c file. And inside the file there is a main function with just a while loop. This option can be the quickest and best way to start a project in case no BSPs are ready for a certain device. Let's review now the third and final wizard in this series. The third wizard allows us to create a generic ARM core project from scratch or what we call an ARM bare metal project. Although not recommended, it is available and intended for advanced ARM users. I click on File, then click on New. Here I can choose a C or C++ project. I'll click a Generic ARM C project. Create an empty project. Call it My ARM Proj. Choose the chip maker. Select a target. Choose the code location, say Flash. Click Finish. Thunderbench will create a shell project for the selected device. Let me go to main.c file. Inside is a simple main function with a while loop in it. Thunderbench also creates the proper linker script memory map file for the selected device. The project is not ready to download since it is missing the system and startup file. The user must use their own files. It is recommended in this case to use Sims' set of files. Finally, as you can see, Improg Thunderbench is a versatile tool and fine crafted to accommodate the needs of embedded design engineers at any level and any phase of their development process. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.